literally found out like a few days ago that there's a spot near me that does uh, halal chicken for tacos and pizza. I mean, like, like literally five minutes from my house. I was like, right under my nose. How did I never know about this? And it's just sometimes you just find things out, you know, this guy popped up. Oh my, it's awesome. Always changing. Love it. More halal food, the better. The Halal Food Podcast by Halal Run, the number one guide to halal eating options in the US, Canada, and the UK. Welcome. On our podcast, we feature inspiring and accomplished Muslims in the West from all backgrounds. We talk to them about their lives and about the restaurants, the halal restaurants where they love to eat. This is part two of our conversation with Saad, a Southern California halal food blogger who blogs under the handle at Halal California. Saad had so many amazing recommendations that it took more than one episode to cover them all. So now we're about to cover the rest of his picks along with a conversation about other Muslims he admires in the West, as well as bloggers that he checks out and we should check out as well. So over to the conversation. So for the next one, uh, I want to talk about like a pop-up. Uh, these guys have been around for a little while now, and every time they pop up near me, I try to make it out because I love them. Uh, it's Street Thawa Barbecue. It's like a, it's a barbecue. They have like a huge smoker. That they sometimes will bring around. You'll see if you, if you get a chance, they bring it to like the whatever event they're doing. Uh, it's nice to see them kind of like bring it out of the smoker itself. Uh, it's like brisket sandwiches, like barbecue brisket, like huge slabs. These guys know what they're doing. Great guys. Um, and they have, I always get the barbecue brisket sandwich. It's just like, it's so simple. It's just like, you know, toast, brisket, like a lot of brisket. Usually enough that like sometimes I'll have to take some of the brisket out. And I'll save it for later because it's like there's too much. Like, I have two sandwiches of one, basically. And then uh, it comes with like some coleslaw pickles and like a really nice barbecue sauce. I usually like to put the coleslaw in the sandwich itself, uh, give it a little crunch. Uh, I just think that they're like maybe my go-to barbecue place. Uh, like I, I, I really like them a lot. And uh, it's just like I always like. I'm checking Instagram to see when these guys are going to pop up next. And so that's kind of the thing. They're like, they're only kind of for like pop up and stuff like that. But if for every reason you're in Southern California, you see these guys popping up at an event near you at the local masjid, just go, go. I know the lines sometimes get a little long and everything. They got a little hype. It's worth the hype. It's, it's real. Kind of, we were talking about pop up. Now I want to talk about, about our food truck. Uh, probably my, one of my favorite food trucks is, uh, Parada. And, Parada is based like in like the art district area. They have like a ghost kitchen there, but they also have like their food truck that goes around. And I just actually really like the food truck. It's uh, it's like street Indian food. It's like Parada wraps, like chicken, beef, stuff like that. Uh, and it's just like really colorful. I really like their aesthetic. It's like very Instagrammable, I guess you could say. Uh, they gave you like these uh, yeah, like mangalosi, which is really good, and other different types of lussies. And they give it to you like in like a little bottle that is uh is a little bit of kind of a mix of like the modern and like the old school like Indian artwork. And you can see like in the picture, like there's a the guy's like taking a picture of the girl, but it's like in the style of like old Indian artwork. It's like really cool. I think it's just like the, the truck itself is like really beautiful. I really want to just go one day and just take videos of the truck. The last time I tried, I was, it was only they only had the pop up at the time, it was during COVID. Uh but the Prada wraps, any of the Prada wraps are great. Like just, it's, they're so big that you can like cut it in half, have to have it later. Uh, so Prada wraps, any of them are awesome. I like the chicken ones. Uh, and uh, the Lussies are great too. I'm not a normal Lussie guy, a little too strong for me usually, but those, they have like really good, especially the mango Lussie is really great. I know I talked about one pizza place before, but because pizza is my favorite food, I want to talk about another one. Uh, kind of when I was living in the Valley, uh, there was a, pizza place called 786 degrees and 786 degrees is like wood fire pizza it's a little different kind of like similar like, like blaze pizza or mod pizza or pieology or something but these guys i think are way better like the chef is amazing super nice guy uh kind of he learned like all this stuff like in italy and so the whole kind of concept is like the wood fire pizza and it's fresh it's really great they have a location in sunland which is like in deep in the valley and I think they have one also in Pasadena. And I really like, they have like a Bombay Tikka pizza, I think. Uh, it's kind of like a like a Tikka style like chicken on top of pizza. 
And I love that. I'm always, I really like fusion stuff. I'm big on fusion. So anytime there's like kind of like a fusion thing, and this I think really works well. It's a really great fusion. That pizza is like awesome. I mean, all the other pizzas are awesome. Even the vegetarian pizzas are great. But I really like that Bombay Tikka pizza that they have. Uh, that's like my go-to. When I was like living in the Valley, I can't even tell you how many times I would go there, drop by, just swing by, pick up a pizza, come home. Uh, so definitely a place that I definitely recommend for those, especially in the Valley or in a Pasadena area. If you want some wood fire pizza, that's, that's my halal go-to spot. So uh, the next spot I want to do is like an Asian spot. Uh, I've been going to this place with my family for so long, and I really, really like it. It's uh, called Bal Balachin Grill, and it's Malaysian. And it's it's kind of very similar to like Thai and Chinese. But I think like a little sweeter, and you know, like Malaysian flavors and stuff like that. Uh, it's really great. I, I really like Balachin. I've been going, like I said, I've been going with my family for a long time. Uh, I usually get like a, they have like a, what's it called? It's really hard for me to pronounce. This one like beef dish, it's kind of sweet. It's called, I think it's called Daging Kitkat Manis or Daging Ketchup Manis, something like that. Sounds uh, legit. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's Daging Ketchup Manis. And it's uh, it's like a sweet chicken. It's like, we always get it every single time. We always get the chicken saute or beef saute. But they, they're great with the saute. Always get that. And then they also have, like a mango chicken, which is like really nice. Uh, Especially it's like mangoes are in season. It's like what a dish I'll get. Uh, so like I said, I really like it. It's like, like probably one of my favorite Asian spots to go to. Uh, just because it's like a little, it's not only really spicy, it's more sweeter. And I just like really love the flavors. And they're really great. They're very friendly. I My mom like knows the owners and stuff like that. So it's like they'll come to the table, they'll go high. Uh, so it's always like really sweet to see them. And great food. I mean, if it's it's always about the food, right? And the food is awesome. So it's like my go-to Asian place. I hope it's going to be a few people's go-to Asian place. The last one I want to talk about is called Mozambique. It's uh, it's in Laguna Beach. And the reason why I want to talk about Mozambique, even though they have like a very limited halal menu, not everything is halal. There's like a normal restaurant, but they have like a small halal menu. So they have a, a few items, a separate halal menu. When you go there, just ask for the halal menu. They'll give it to you. Uh, they'll even put like a little toothpick that says halal in it that I kind of collect. <laughs> Because I, I was like, oh, these are nice. I just like have like a bunch of them like somewhere. I don't even know. Uh, but uh, they have, it's just like kind of like South African style food, you know, Mozambique. Very like tropical, very like South African style stuff. They have like parrots and stuff like that. Like live parrots, like in a cage that you can like check out. And stuff. Sometimes the parrots will be like kind of walking around outside the cage. They kind of let them out. But like the views of this place, the views, because you're on Laguna Beach, right? So you got the view of the ocean. If it's like a sunny day, you're on the top terrace. It's like, it's like heaven. You know, it's like, it's kind of amazing. Like, this is a halal food place that you could like eat on this top of this terrace. Beautiful view. They can even see the sunset. We've done like my sister's birthday there one time. Uh, usually times we bring some family members there and they're visiting just because it's like by the beach. Laguna Beach is like my favorite beach. It's only like 15 minutes away from my house. And uh, I really like, they have like a, these uh peri peri chicken pops which are like on top of like this grilled pineapple and i i we always get that just kind of like a side dish kind of appetizer that's like my go-to and then for the actual meal i get usually the grilled chicken sandwich and it's very similar to like the pops it's just like a it's like grilled chicken with like it's a really great like on ciabatta bread i think uh i love it they have this like kind of like a garlic aioli or like a uh what is it usually it's like a cilantro lime aioli that they usually give you with like the samosas the samosas are good too but i always ask for some extra of this aioli and i will like put it in the sandwich and it like just like takes like that normal that sandwich is really good on its own and it elevates it for sure so like it's a little, little tip get that cilantro lime aioli put it in that grilled chicken sandwich and it's just like awesome and just sit back, enjoy the views from the top of that terrace. It's totally worth it if you have to wait. All right. So I think that's it for the food stuff, the food restaurant. Those were uh, some awesome picks, Saad. Uh, I am uh, going to book my flight to LA as soon as I can just to check them out because you've, you've really sold me on all of them. I have, I've been to LA many times, 
Um, I don't think I've been to any of these places. So I'm really excited to check them out. I mean, it changes so much. Like every, there's like new restaurants, like just today, like I was messaging with another restaurant that's like some really fancy Indian stuff. They said the chicken's halal. I'm going to talk to these guys, see if, you know, and then, then I literally found out like a few days ago that there's a spot near me that does a uh, halal chicken for tacos and pizza. I mean, like, like literally five minutes from my house. I was like, right under my nose. How did I never know about this? And it's just sometimes you just find things out, you know, this guy pops up. Well, my, it's awesome. You know, always changing. Love it. More halal food, the better. Exactly. And like we were talking about earlier, like there's just more of a recent explosion of people starting to use halal meat, even if they're non-Muslim owners. Because I mean, the business proposition is very straightforward. Use halal meat and you'll get like a whole bunch more customers. Like it doesn't get more. Somebody just told me like a few weeks ago about this deli place. Like I was, my, my nephew's visiting from Toronto and he's, uh, he's here like on a, for like work stuff. And he's always telling me, oh, is there a place that does like deli sandwiches, but like halal? I'm like, you can get deli meat at the butcher and stuff like that. But I don't mean, and then I found out there's a place that does deli sandwiches in Fullerton. I mean, like, what? I mean, like, just, it happens. Yeah, we got everything. Um, so look, I mean, thank you for those picks. And obviously, Saad, thank you for what you do. I mean, content creators like yourself who who feature halal establishments are doing a service to the whole community, right? Because we, we turn to you to to figure out what we should check out, especially with this wealth of options that we have. Um, so, and you know, one thing we like about this community of content creators is a lot of them know each other. They follow each other. They support each other. Uh, are there other bloggers, you know, halal food bloggers, or even, even other just general food bloggers, uh, that you, uh, that you like, that you check out, that you sometimes collaborate with, that, you know? Yeah. So I just wanted to go back to a point that you're kind of talking about. That was like the reason why I kind of started the blog was I really, I didn't have any point of like thinking that I'm going to make any money or career out of this or anything like that. I have my photography stuff like that. I just wanted to, to spread halal places. I wanted to find halal places. I wanted to kind of boost up halal businesses, like find them, give them like a platform, you know, I know there's other bloggers and stuff like that and they have ways, but I felt like that was the goal of the blog really was, Hey, I want to showcase these halal businesses, give them a little boost, you know? Uh, but as for the bloggers, there's like a few, I don't want to leave anybody out. I mean, I know I follow True. a ton. This is, this is not yeah. an inclusive list. Yeah. So, so no one, if I no forget one about you, hurt. please. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If I forget about you, please, please don't, don't be bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, I don't want to, cause like we have like, a, I have a little chat with some of these guys on uh, Instagram, something like that. And so there's definitely going to be a few guys I'll probably forget about. I'm so sorry in advance, but uh, here are just a few that I really like to follow. So one I like is called uh, Pink the Foodie. And uh, she, I like about her because she's like very like direct. She like rate the dishes. She like five out of 10, seven out of 10, three out of 10. So it's bad food. She's gonna, she ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I'm very nice. I'm very like, very enthusiastic, very pro. So even if the food is like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to kind of just like, focus on the positives really she ain't gonna she ain't about that she like <laughs> she's all business she's like oh, i'm gonna this is how it is and i really appreciate that i think you have to have some bloggers like that so like so not just because like oh we're not gonna sugarcoat just because you're halal i'm not gonna give you five stars you know so that's one i else really like and she also finds really great spots similar taste she likes a lot of things i like so i always am looking forward to what she's like you know popping up or trying or something like that I haven't met her in person yet, but hopefully sometime soon. Uh, another person I follow is called TZ Halal Escapades. And it's a couple. And I've been following them for a long, long, long time. I think they've been around for way longer than I have. Uh, kind of doing their own kind of halal food blogging. Uh, just because they're like OG style. That's why I really like to follow them. Uh... They always find spots or always trying different things. Really nice people, uh, really friendly on the chat, uh, always helpful. And I just like, I just, like, since I follow Palau food bloggers, I remember I've been following these guys. I mean, the longest. So I feel like I have to shout them out just because I've been following them since as long as I can remember on Instagram. Another one I follow is ochalal.co. 
And uh, I've actually had the pleasure of seeing this person face to face a few times, just kind of bumping into them at events or something. There was like a, a coffee place that opened up in Fullerton, Camaria Coffee. And I bumped into her there. And then I bumped into her again at some like, a, uh, I think it was like a halal Ramadan fest. I forget. Anyways, she's great. She's always kind of going around, uh, even in outside of Orange County in LA. Uh, even though she says OC halal, it's it's kind of all around. Even like I think she was in New Orleans and Texas and stuff like that. Anyways, always like her content. She always has like this good narrative, a uh, uh, narration. I'm sorry uh, when she does like videos and stuff like that. Uh, really friendly. It's always nice to see the bloggers a face face to face. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I got to shout him out. And and she's put me on a few things. She's the one who told me about the the deli place, the halal deli place. So I have to, I got to shout her out a little bit. Another one I follow is SoCal Halal, and this one's like pretty recent, but they 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 have been putting out content pretty regularly and really have blown up. I think. Uh, I think of all the bloggers recently. I think I think they have kind of like the biggest rise recently because they've been going to a lot of places I haven't even been to. Uh, putting out a lot of content, great videos, always featuring spots that I don't even know about or have been wanting to try. Uh, really friendly, awesome. I, I I just, I feel like they're kind of like on the rise and I like their content and uh, it's a good follow. So one other one I like to do is, uh, this is not really a blogger, but they give you a lot of good information called the Halal Food Check or Halal Food Check, something like that. And it's just basic information. It's like, this place is, is this place halal? Yes. Are they hand cut or are they machine cut? Or is it partial halal? Is it just chicken? Is it beef? Uh, do they serve alcohol? It like, gives you all these kind of information that really, really is important. Because I can't tell you how many times you get messages from just like uh, your followers or anybody who's like, hey, is this place uh, hand cut? Is this, is this machine cut? Is this this? Is this that? And... A lot of times I have to tell these guys I have to reach out to the restaurant directly because I'm I'm just not going to go and like pester this restaurant for every where do you get your meat? Where do you get all this? What do, all these things? Uh, I'm pretty much like as long as I see like a whole all certificate or like they verbally do like verbally verifying person, I trust them. And so uh, especially if they're Muslim, I, I trust them. Like, but some people are very, very strict. And I understand that everybody has different whole standards. I encourage that. I always tell people, if you don't feel comfortable eating at this place, even on it, like I may say I posted on my blog or something, and you have like kind of doubts, don't eat there. Just don't, or don't order the meat there or whatever, you know? I don't, I'm not going to say, hey, I'm like some kind of source for all, and I know everything. But so I always recommend people do your own research. I'm just trying to nudge you in the right direction kind of thing. And I do the best I can. But this, these guys do a lot more intensive and it's just information. Like literally their posts are just like all, it's just, it's just text of like info that I think is really helpful for people in Southern California for halal food. And then the last ones I want to talk about are, um, are actually outside of Southern California, but I really like their stuff. There's uh, the Muslim foodies, which are in New York. They're uh, some sisters. They're, they're great. I, I love their content. If they haven't been on your, uh, I, on your podcast, you get them because they're awesome. Uh, I always, I follow them and I'm always looking for stuff in New York and that kind of area. They're great for that. Uh, another one is like DMV Eats, but the E is like a three. And his videos are great too. Uh, so it's, I have like my, uh, I have a nephew that's like in Virginia and he works in DC. So I always send him their videos like, hey, let me try this halal spot. This place looks cool. This guy's like always, and then, is always has like great like halal spots. I think it's really really underrated. Had like a like some of the best pizza places and even Mexican food I had was like in that area. Uh, so uh, they're a great follow. They have awesome videos. So those two outside of Southern California people, I definitely want to recommend. Those are some great bloggers. Right, familiar with a lot of them, but there's some I hadn't heard of. So thanks for that. We're going to be checking them out, reaching out to them just to to build our community further. Uh, so you know, Sal, we talked about you know these halal bloggers, right? These, these Muslims who like yourself are trying to uh, help out the community. 
Uh, are there other just Muslims in general? We always ask this question because we're all about Muslims supporting Muslims. Are there other Muslims in the West, uh, in any field, in any walk of life, doing anything, not just food, uh, who you uh, admire, who you who you think are doing great, and and why? Uh, yeah, like I don't really like. Well, a lot of people talk about like, like Muslims they admire. Like especially some like my sister or something like that. There's like speakers that they like kind of follow on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever, uh, and stuff like. I don't really have that many for that kind of thing. Uh, like I'm very I don't I, I don't really like to put people on pedestals kind of thing. You know, I don't know. So it's a little weird thing from about me. But uh, like so. But when I was growing up, like my heroes were like Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali. Like I had like I would do like book reports on them and stuff like that, right? Or like uh, you know, any of like the NBA players that like are like Muslim and stuff like that, I usually really like. But uh probably like the one of the Muslims I really, really look up to uh is uh Sheikh Atif. And he's uh he's a sheikh at uh, my local Majid Rahma Center. The Rahma Center is in Lake Forest. It's a Majid that very, very new actually, just kinda opened up maybe like a year or two ago. And uh, it's where I go to Juma. It's where I go to Juma, and he's the shake there. And uh, he's always had a kind of a special place for me because uh, I think he's very, very gentle and very like uh, kind in his words, very passionate. Uh, and also, uh, my dad had cancer, and so uh, when we were struggling with that, when my dad had cancer and before he passed, Sheikh Atif really helped us with that. Uh, he kind of came over, kind of gave us advice, talked to my dad, really was always there during that kind of really difficult situation. And so I always will always be grateful for him for that. And so he's kind of <laughs> the shout out to a, to a shake, shake out the awesome, awesome guy. That's great. Th thanks so much for sharing that. Um, and you know, Todd, thanks for, thanks for being on the podcast. Thanks for, uh, sharing all your recommendations and your advice and your tips. I'm sure our, our audience is going to find this super, uh, not just entertaining, but, but informative and helpful. So thank you again for your time. Thank you for having me. This is a little, little different, but, uh, that was fun. That was cool. Yeah, exactly. And let me know if you're in New York and when I'm in LA next, we'll, we'll go hit up some of these spots together. Yeah. Yeah. Hit me up, man. Okay. All right. Salam alaikum, brother. See you soon. Ah, uh, Lego Islam. Thanks for joining us. Halal Run is the number one guide to halal eating options in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. We feature over 17,000 listings in 2,500 cities on our website, halalrun.com. You can also find us on all our socials where we are at Halal Run. If you enjoyed today's episode, please make sure to subscribe so we can bring you more content just like this because we are here to serve you.